The COSO chose thousands of years ago to install a permanent exhibit. 50,000 pieces of rock art now nestle next to craters in a desert where the Navy designs and tests grenade launchers and cruise missiles. Sun scorched in this viewerless gallery, their thin white lines remind me of a local piano rock band called Parade the Day that broke up after five starved years of basement shows and band sleeping. Some performing artists I know, a troop named something about a hippo an elephant and a, a, tr a train wreck still tore, living in a tent and beating on their rusted saws in the busted washing machine they got for free if they hauled it. A particular chapbook, the product of a bowler-hatted Hungarian man with a mermaid tattoo who read at the public library on a rainy Tuesday last October, hurdles through my mind, thin and maroon, like a painted arrow towards its target, a clay brown deer, here a metaphor for truth. A man went by two initials like Elliot, who's gone down as a man who strung the world together on paper and plagiarism. The very best plumber, heavy equipment operator, salvage crew, Mr. Fix-It, we had at the time. But still, we only got fragments on ruins. A laconic visual of the stereotypical view of modern art is still elicits spews and snorts of stupid. Bunk, Chris, man, you've been on tour for like four weeks and you still don't make sense. For much of the same species that all of it was designed to reach in the first place. Yet, when it hits, when the startling clarity of a white goat scratched on the shady side of a rock formation in the Mojave sticks a 21st century suburban kid in tight jeans and SPF 48, makes him consider time and space in the endeavors of man, how God, how God has gifted such an undeserving species that it all comes back to hobble. Ah, it seems like a bad idea. <laughs> And I have a little bit of a filter. If this is all that's important, you can block out the rest of it, and that's fine. I mean that. It all comes back to Havel, and the fact that sitting around speculating if an action will have an effect is the only way that it surely won't. Listen again, if you don't mind, and then you can go about your business. It all comes back to Havel, and the fact that sitting around speculating if an action will have an effect or not it all comes back to Havel and the fact that sitting around speculating if an action will have an effect or not is the only way that it surely won't. It comes back to clenched fists and prayer and working the pavement, back to Molotovs and big pens on the subway cars to the minimum wage that's funding the next revolution, back to not selling nothing till after you're dead, back to barbaric yops, both virtuoso and in drop D, back to trusting God and swinging away through hell and high water and whatever comes next, back to soul, back to the Tiger Freedom redoing Goya's the 3rd of May, sans press release, sans artist Q&A and afternoon lunch and social, back to the ruler perfect shafts of light. That abandoned Amtrak tunnel, illuminating the deafening decibels of his pain. Back to the persistence of cement songs, which is the persistence of stone songs, ink songs, lyric songs, the persistence of rising, of spreading of small sparks that don't know their own size or what the world has to say about their particular potentials of sparks. Ignorant of statistics and theories of sparks without hands to ring or scales to weigh the pros and cons of failing of sparks that simply burn and burn and burn with all they have. Because they've been created for that alone. Cool, thanks guys. Mm -hmm.